hit that subscribe button, and then click on the bell to never miss a video. Also, if you want to get some Dreamers merch, the links will be down in the description, and you can get yours. This world is full of magic, myths, and legendary creatures. The wizards share this land with dragons, pixies, and much more. The guild of Nova Nimbus is the center of this magic, but a disappearance of their god Anxaram, it falls into shade. The world is changing as the tide of magical energy shifts as we know it. Welcome to Fairy Tale Origins. Okay, okay, you damn fairies. I did what you asked. All right, I got the chest. Give me this stupid book. Got the chest. Collected all the flowers you asked. All the mushrooms. Uh, I got more flowers. Collected it. Made it with glowstone. Made f glowing flowers. Mana steel. Daisies. Lotuses. And then you give me this book. The Lexica Botania. Okay. Welcome to Botania. I congratulate you on the fine choice of strapping a sapling and a book together, or just finding this tome in a chest. You can navigate this book using the arrows of the book. I know how to read a book. Okay. Thanks for telling me if I... I don't care about any of that. Tutorial. In-game. Basics and mechanics. Mystical flowers. Around the world, you may stumble upon a variety of mystical flora. Yeah, don't say. Spotting these don't take much work, as the flowers emit a fair amount of shine. They come in 16 colors. I know. I'm supposed to grow these using a floral fertilizer. Flowers as far as the eye can see. These flowers can be plucked from mystical petals, which can be used for making magical instruments and plants alike. Right-clicking a petal on the ground will bury it, having it emit particles. These petals can also be crushed into floral powder, which functions much like a mundane piece of dye. Okay, so I've got to turn it into petals. Crafting the mortar and pest. I need a stick, a wood plank, and a bowl. Okay, so a stick, a plank, and a bowl. Can I just put it in here like that? Nope, it has to be in a big one. Okay. We're gonna have to go all the way over here. Craft it in here. Okay. Mortar and pestle, we can EMC that, so we might as well. Okay. So we've done that. What's next? Grinding petals into powder. Okay, so I can make powder. So if I grab one of each. Floral brown. So let me grab one of each of these. Oh, I messed that up. Do that. Do that. This one. 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 And this one. Okay. So we do this. No? Okay, well, this is how we get petals. So that's good news. It looks like some of them are emc -able and some of them are not. Which is uh, fine. Maybe we use the petals to do the, the powder, potentially? We'll see. Do this. Let's get one of every kind, and then we'll EMC the ones that we can EMC. Okay, all right. So which ones can we EMC? We can EMC this one. We can EMC this one. We can EMC this one. This one. This one. This one. This one. That is all we can EMC. Okay, so now if I go like that, and like this, floral white powder. Okay, sweet, 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 sweet. And we get floral orange powder, purple powder, blue powder, this powder, lime powder, this one, 
this one. Yeah, we should probably EMC some of these. Like EMC the ones that can be EMC'd. EMC'd. All right, so now we can go back, continue our powder making, grind, just like that, like that. We can get this one, this one, this one, and this one. All right, and then EMC is this one. Okay. Okay, now we have a ton of these. I'm just going to put all the powders in, and then I'm going to put all the pels in. Okay, so we've made pels, we've made powder. Right clicking the flower, the floor powder on any wall or carpet changes its color. Mixing the floor powder with bone meal, it's possible to create different types of fertilizer. The floor fertilizer will grow a small amount of mystical flowers in the nearby vicinity if you ever run low on them. Okay, so we make floral fertilizer using powder and bone meal. So four powder and a bone meal. Let's get that and then let's get one, two, three, four. And let's run to, we should just bring a crafting, do I have a crafting table in here? I do. Let's just bring a crafting table over here. Let's place it right there. Pick that up real quick. So it's this, 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 this allows us to make that. So we can put all that back in. That's magic fertilizer. Now floral fertilizer is red dye, yellow dye, and bone meal. Red dye, yellow dye, bone meal. So let's get bone meal. Let's get dye. So we need red dye times two, we need yellow dye times two. Bone meal, red dye, yellow dye. Floral fertilizer is now a thing. Let's put that in there too. Okay, there are also some taller variants. The mystical flowers spread them around. They can only be gathered with shears, but can be used to obtain twice the amount of pels. They're too big for dye though. Okay. Tall flowers can be made manually by fertilizing a mystical flower or a berry petal with bone meal. Sweet. And they give you double. Ooh, petal blocks. So now petals can be made into blocks. Let's try that out. So let me grab. Let's just grab the red petals. Go here. Boom. Red petal block. Alright, sweet. So we can make blocks if we need to. That's like a, a block we can use. Okay, so that's mystical flowers. Next, we've got the Petal Apothecary. In order for a botanist to create plant life that can do their bidding, they would need a special means of infusing plants with mystical energy. Luckily, the Petal Apothecary does that. So, this block one place in the world, given some water, by a water bucket, will accept any mystical petals on it, releasing their energies. Once one has inserted the correct petals, throwing some seeds in will finalize the process. Something in a full bucket will also fill it with water. Quite a few plants can be made with this method, Read the functional flora and the generation flora sections of the lexicon. Shift it, well, empty hand will remove the item in it. Okay. Instead of water, one can place lava in this. That is done, it'll serve as a brazier, an incinerator, destroying any items that come in contract. Tossing in vines will give the block an overgrown visual. Comparators can detect whether the block has water or not, because the pell can be filled by usage of drop water bottle. Bucket and dispensers can fill buckets, creating a system that can automatically refill in the dish shouldn't prove too difficult. Some tip those who want to squeeze the efficiency out of every block, don't really care about that. So we need cobblestone, cobblestone slabs, and some sort of petal. Okay, so we need cobblestone, and we need a petal. Let's just grab an orange one. Cobblestone slabs are a thing. I didn't know they were a thing. What was it again? So it's four of that. It's like this, like this, and then like that. Is it like that? That's it. Okay, so we can EMC the apothecary. Let me just place this like there. Right there will do. Okay. 
So we need to fill it with water. So we get a bucket. Need some water. Hopefully we have some. I can't pick it up. Oh, maybe it's because of the bucket. I know that one of these buckets is weird. It's probably that one. Okay. So now we have a bucket of water. Damn, we have a moon glow leaf because I accidentally grabbed that. So let's throw that in there. Okay. Fill it with water. And now what do you want me to do with it? Crafting the petal apothecary. The pure daisy, yes, we have it. It will purify any adjacent wood and stone seen on the page next. So if we put some wood and some stone around it, is that what we should do? Because we've got it. Okay, so let's get some wood. Let's get some stone. Wood. Stone. Just normal stone or cobblestone? It's a good question, isn't it? Normal stone. Okay, so let's grab our pure daisies. Do we have a good area for this? Uh, let's see. We can do it. Yeah, we can do it back here. That'll do just fine. So we got one, two, three, four. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it goes one by four like that. No, this doesn't work. We've messed this up. Now, let's see. So if the daisy's going here, then that needs to go... I know how it goes. It goes like that, like that. And then these need to come up. So they're not right. It's basically like there. And it's going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. Like, like that. Like, like this. And go like this again. And it's do, 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 do. And it's do, 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 do. And then you can do it again. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. And it's like one there, one here, one here. Flower, flower, flower. And we've got tons of it going now. And that is going to create exactly what we need. So let's go put this back so we can gather that later on. Okay, so we put our pure daisies back. We need an axe. Uh, we have a Tholmium one. That'll do. So let's go and collect some of this. So we've got... Living Wood. And I don't know what the rest of this stuff is. So we're gonna have to look into that. I think it's Living Wood and Living Rock. Okay. Living Wood and Living Rock. That's what's joined us. Okay, we'll uh, leave all that for now. So we have some living wood, and we have some living rock. Now, what do I want to do with this? The runic altar. Okay. So, this creates runes. Type of crafting is known as mana manipulation before proceeding. I read through the important entries, those in italics, on that section of the Lexica Britannica might prove enlightening, so I should read mana manipulation. So they're important, I need to create a runic altar. To utilize it, start by placing via either right click or simply tossing the components you want, the components of the rune you want to create. Proceed by pointing a mana spreader to the altar, so the mana transfer can occur, I should apparent. When the altar has received enough mana, when that happens, just drop or right click a piece of living rock on top of it, then use the wand on it again to collect your rune. Okay, so this living. I need a mana diamond or mana pearl. Ender pearl, 
and a mana pool. I need a mana pool, which is living rock. So I just need the living rock and do this. We made a mana pool. Let's put a mana pool right here. So what do I do with the mana pool? What do I put in the mana pool? So the mana pool is simply a storage of mana. Mana can be saved to the man the usage of a mana spreader or any adjacent mana spreaders. Will put mana. Any functional flowers required require a nearby mana pool to draw power from. Mana pools. So I need mana. How do I get mana? Hmm. How do I get mana? So that's that page. One of the forest. We're not there yet because we haven't made living wood twigs. But we can make living wood twigs. How many do we need? To make this, we need three. Okay, so... Go like that. Nope, wrong block. Three. So we need three of those, and then we need petals. Now, I want a mystical blue one. And I think I want a red one. So let's get a petal. And then we do bang, bang, bang. One up there, one down here. The wand of the forest. Okay. So, how do we get some form of mana? How do we get some form of mana? So there's... Uh, mana powder... There's mana in a bowl. I don't know how to collect mana in a bowl. So maybe there's a way... Hmm... Mana. How do I... How do I put mana in? A mana glass vial. No, is there a way of creating mana? Mana diamonds is a block of mana diamond. This needs a mana pool. The mana pool needs mana. I just don't know how to get mana. What's a mana star do? Hmm. Maybe a mana star is what we need? I'm not sure. Maybe there's a maybe there's a page. General use of the one of the forest. Uh, has two modes, bind mode and function mode. You can switch between them. Two modes can be switched. If one isn't bound, shift right clicking will allow you to bound it. Uh, okay, so that's not what I'm looking for. What about, let's go to that page that it told me to go to. Mana manipulation. And, ooh, okay, so this the mana pool is here. Then there's the mana spreader. It's the most important component in manipulating mana. This block that allows mana to travel from point A to point B. When this block is placed on the ground, it will face one of six basic directions by holding a shift right on. Shift right on it with the one of the forest. One can orient it to the opposite of where it was clicked and pointed with a wand in bind mode. Holding a wand of the forest. So, I need to make one of these things. How do I do it? The mana spreader. I want just the normal one, so I need living wood, I need a plant, and I need gold. So I need a piece of gold. I need the living wood, and I need, uh, I guess I missed a white flower will do. I don't have enough living wood. Let's hope that we got some more. Yeah, we do. Perfect. Because I needed more. So we're going to have to collect a lot of this. Seems like this is used for pretty much making anything. So let's just quickly go through all of this. We might as well grab the living rock while we're here. Probably should replenish it, but we'll do it later. It's fine. Okay, so... It's like... This... This... And this? No? Um... Any blue mushroom, living wood, gold ingot, and I think any blue mushroom that maybe I can't use. 
this then. Let's get a blue shimmering mushroom. Put all the rest of this down. And then a gold ingot. No. Hmm. Uh, so we want just the normal mana spreader, which is living wood. A gold ingot. And then... I... 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 It, it's going too fast. Is there a way to pause it? Uh... Is there a way to pause it? Uh... Living wood... Oh wait, it's the other way around. I'm an idiot. So it's like this... This... And then this. Aha! I'm just an idiot, that's all. Okay, so maybe I need a... a bucket of water to fill it? Potential? That might be a thing. I might need to fill it with water. Oh, hello. Don't need to fill it with water. Okay. So now we have this thing and this thing. So we have the mana spreader. Applying a resonance single to the spreader will have it cease to function. It is required. Better control is required. A pulse mana spreader is recommended as it fire bursts without target block and works on resonant pulses. The spreader only fires one burst. Mm -hmm. Okay, so holding the one to forest. I should pick this up. I should put this like here. Oh, I don't want any of that. Okay. But there's no mana. So how do I fill it with mana? The bot that contain mana and isn't full. The mana spreader will fire mana burst, which will travel to the target and pass the mana. There's a small internal buffer of mana to get filled by nearby generating flowers. Oh, so I gotta place flowers by it? Is that what's happening here? So let's go with a black one, a red one, a green one, a blue one, a purple one, a pink one, and a white one. Purple, red, blue, green, black. Hmm. What if I put you guys closer? So like here, here, here. Hmm. Okay. So let's read this. The mana spreader has a small intella. It will get filled by nearby generating flowers. So what does generating flowers mean? Uh... Okay, uh, let's see. The mana tablet. Mana tablet's a portable way of carrying mana. Okay, that needs a mana diamond though, so we're not there yet. Creating a mana stone, placing this your pools will have to shine red, so a loss or blue if there's a profit. Okay, so that shows mana. Mana detector. I haven't figured out how to create mana yet. This might just take time. I don't know what I've done. I should probably pick this thing up and start over.
I don't know what this means. So maybe we make a mana detector? Mana detector. Living Rook, a Compara, and a Redstone. Okay, so Redstone, Comparator, a bunch of Redstone, and some Living Rock. Okay, so boom, 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 boom. That in there, and then boom, 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 boom. This is the wrong way around. It's okay though, because it doesn't matter. Right, mana detector. Let me pick that up real quick. This mystical blue flower like this. Okay, how does the mana detector work? The rest of the mana is capable to detect when a mana burst starts flowing through it. The burst doesn't dissipate on collision with this block. Provide a redstone signal when that is the case. Okay, so that's not exactly what we need. We're looking for a way... A pulse mana spreader. Let's have a look at this. Let's make one of these. We need a mana spreader. And we put some redstone with it. Do I still have that? I have, I have a piece of redstone. It's almost like it wanted me to do that. Okay. So now we have a pulse mana spreader. What does that say? By combining a mana spreader with a piece of redstone, it's possible to create a pulse mana spreader, which is given the name fires when given a redstone pulse. Regardless of having a block in the end to put the mana or not. Okay, so I gotta give it some redstone? Okay, so let me put this flower up there. Uh, let's grab some redstone. Redstone. And let's get a stick. And let's get some redstone. Let's make a redstone torch. Let's EMC that. Alright, so then it's like, like that. Like this. That do something? Hmm. I don't know how to activate this mana pool. <sighs> Maybe I go ask the fairies. Maybe they could tell me. Man, this thing's still confusing. Why just give me a book? Why not just come and teach me? Okay, you make things difficult. Cause I can fly.